So I have this Bailey number three hand planer. It's in poor condition. Uh, when I got it, the blade was sticking out way far and it's all rusted and rusted shut. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do first is tear it all apart and clean it up with steel wool and gasoline. Take the blade out and see the condition of the tip here and um, resurface that on some glass and um, sandpaper and run through the grits so I can get a nice edge on there again and, and see if I can restore this this Stanley Bailey so I believe it's a Stanley but uh, I don't know too much about him to be honest but I think it's missing also some sort of nut in here a retainer that holds the chip breaker down it should be at like this angle or something so I might have to cut some washers or plastic maybe probably something metal to hold this chip breaker at the right angle but We'll get to that. First, we're going to clean it up and see what it looks like. Just cleaning all the rust off of our Stanley it is a Stanley number three Bailey Bailey number three planer just some steel wool and gasoline and WD-40 on all the movables so the blade needs sharpened badly obviously and I'm probably gonna sandblast the bottom of this I'm not sure there's some pitting that's really bad that I couldn't get out um, so what I've seen people do is they pull the blade back and then they'll run this over their fat, flat glass with sandpaper on it and run it through the grits to get this bottom surface perfectly flat. And they'll do it also on the sides um, because a lot of people use these sides for measurements and setups. So the reason I put it back together was so I know how it goes back together first of all and then it's all functioning and all the parts are here which I believe they are. Um, and to show you how important a sharp blade is on a hand planer. So this is a dull, rusted, pitted, destroyed blade right now. And I'm going to show you what it does to this uh, piece of pallet that I have here. If you can see, we're not getting very good chips, first of all. The blade's clogging. And I think that might be because I don't have the chip uh, breaker set right, which I'll fix that for the last time. But as you can tell, it, it digs in. It goes and it doesn't cut very well at all. So I'm going to sharpen this and I'll show you the steps of sharpening it. And then we'll do the same cut on the same piece of wood and I'll show you how much better a uh, sharp blade is. <laughs> 